¡Estás viendo IOF TV! Hi, welcome to EOTV. I'm Randall Mauricio. And I'm Terry Apostle, and this is the last EOTV webcast of 2010. You're absolutely right, and before we continue our look at 2011, we figured we'd take a look back. So here are a few highlights from 2010. We want to welcome you to the next EO University in California on the Orange County Riviera, our home. Hi, I'm Guy Kawasaki, co-founder of Alltop, and here's a marketing tip for you. The marketing tip is let 100 flowers blossom, which means that when you first ship a product or service, you may encounter a situation where unintended people, unintended customers are using your product or your service in unintended ways. Never heard of Foursquare? Watch this quick Howcast video. So um, I'm reading a book called The Winner's Bible, which is by a sports psychologist, Dr. Kerry Spackman. He's got some real tools in here, and one of those is creating your own like winner's Bible. It's about creating um, an A5 folder with your a picture just of you, um, with you know, winner's Bible and your name. And then on the inside, it, um, he takes you through a whole lot of tools and processes in terms of you know goals that you aim. There it is. Now you know. I'll see you next time. Peace out, EO. In our last cast, we told you of a few trends of 2011. We wrap up that feature with help from CRM helpdesk software.com writer Jimson Lee. In one of his articles, he talks about five mobile app trends. The first trend is mobile advertising. Since many companies are still trying to figure out how to monetize mobile advertising, now is the perfect time to get ahead of the learning curve. Jimson says more companies should expect to see commitment to mobile advertising in the future and more apps capitalizing on simplifying mobile advertising. Jimson also says security apps have become extremely popular within the past few years. These allow owners to wipe their phone's memory if the device is lost. And sure, the app market is saturated, but there's always room for new developers on a wide variety of platforms. In fact, Forbes magazine's US-based Altel and the UK's BT Group is among the top 10 international telecom companies. So if you're interested in playing the mobile game, make sure you visit the or look to the global market for the best fit for your product. If you want to read Jimson Lee's full article, visit crmhelpdesksoftware.com. The sold out Cape Town University just wrapped up. We'll have the full event recap in January. But until then, take a look at this sneak peek tip from speaker Richard Mulholland. That is your tip for the week. My presentation was Legacy, how legacy is a silent killer of innovation. And I think that as entrepreneurs, when we started our businesses, we started them because we wanted to fix a problem that frustrated us. What I believe though is in the 10, 12, 15 years that we've had our businesses, we've solved those problems perfectly and yet we're still doing many of the same things. I gave four lessons uh, that in my talk. The first one was question your legacies, question why you do things in the first place. The second one was to ask better questions, ask about the problems you want to solve, ask them in a different way. The third was ask different people, find different opinions, a, a forum like EO is perfect for this. Get people into your business to look at your business with new eyes because that's what you need. Um, and the final thing, I talk about the concept of uh, there's a 10% chance that everything you hold near and dear to your heart could be wrong. And embrace that 10% because in that 10% comes every new innovative idea. Before we go, we just wanted to congratulate Brent Skoda. He's this year's winner of the Global Student Entrepreneur Award. GSEA winners receive a cash prize, media exposure, and $150,000 US worth of donated business services. Not too shabby. Must be nice, actually. And of course, <laughs> we'll be chatting with Brent next year right here on EOTV. But before we wrap up 2010, how about one more motivational thought? Uh, the pressure. 
don't go where the path may lead. Instead, go where there is no path and leave a trail. Wow. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Yeah. Happy holidays. We'll see ya.